Hi, it's Jeff Cable. Today I want to talk to you about photographing a swim meet. Both good camera settings and good techniques to get really great shots. So let's start with the basics. First thing you want to do is you want to make sure you have a shutter speed that's fast enough to capture the action. So whether I'm photographing a local swim meet or I'm at the Olympics, I like to have a shutter speed of about a thousandth of a second to capture the action. Now if you're outdoors like I am right now and you have a good amount of sunlight, you probably could have your ISO around 200. Get your aperture as low number as possible. It's called a high aperture, so maybe f4, f5, 6. And what you want to do is set your camera and just look at the shutter speed to make sure you have at least a thousandth of a second. As far as focus mode, you don't want to be in a fixed focus mode. You want to be in what's called a servo or follow focus mode. That's going to give you the best results. Servo focus basically tracks your subject as they're moving away from you or towards you. This is really helpful. If you shoot in a fixed focus mode, by the time you get focus on your subject, they may have moved two or three feet before you hit the shutter button and they're out of focus. So you wanna use servo focus, let the camera and lens work together to track you. And I have a video about servo focus. You can check that out here on the YouTube channel. But you, what you wanna do is be in that mode and let the camera do the work to track your person and get them nice and sharp. Another thing with your focus is make sure you've got a center point focus on. Don't have that whole spectrum of focus points and not know where your focus is. Make sure your camera is set to one single focus point right in the middle. Get that focus point right on your subject's face or body when you're photographing them. I use back button focus when I'm shooting. If you don't know what that is, there's also a video on that here on the YouTube channel. Check that out. You don't have to use back button focus, but it will yield better results for you. There are different lenses you can use when photographing swimming. I actually really prefer, if I'm shooting the swimmer in the pool, to use a zoom lens, something like the Canon 100 to 400. I love the fact that I can zoom out and shoot wide at 100 millimeters, but also zoom way into 400 millimeters and get really tight on their face, like you see here in this photo. There are different strokes in a swim meet. You have everything from backstroke, breaststroke, you have butterfly, and freestyle. Each one of those strokes is better to be photographed from different positions and in a different way. So for butterfly, I like to be straight onto my subject and have them coming right at me to get them filling the frame and looking right into their face. When I'm shooting something like freestyle, I actually prefer to be to the side of them and looking right into their face from the side when they breathe. Now, one thing to keep in mind when you're photographing, and this is true for most sports, is you want to look at where the sun is. So first thing I'll do when I get to a swim meet is I'll look and see at the direction of the sun and I'll stand on that side so that the sunlight is going into their face. So I'm not shooting into shadows, I'm shooting into their face that's lit by the sun. If you have a swimmer that only breathes one direction, you want to be on the side that they're breathing and hopefully it's on the side that the sun is on. Now, when you're photographing a swim meet, the key is to capture the action. But don't forget to capture the reaction. This is really important. If you're photographing a swimmer in the pool and they win the race, well, you want to get good shots of the reaction as they touch the edge of the pool. So think about that. It's not just in the pool, it's also outside the pool. Whether they're getting a medal at the Olympics or they're meeting their family or friends after they just won a race, make sure you capture reaction as well as action. Now, most people, when they're shooting a swim meet, they're using a long lens and they're shooting the action right in the pool. But think about other ways to be creative in your photography. Maybe it's a different lens choice, like a fisheye lens when they're diving into the pool, or a wide angle lens and shooting reflections off of someone's glasses into the pool, or just different techniques, like even motion blurring the swimmer as they're going in the pool and slowing your shutter down. And there's a video on motion panning also on the YouTube channel, and you can see that here. I hope these tips really help you to get a better shot next time you're shooting a swim meet, and you can look back at your images and say, wow, I've really improved. Thank you.